Australia Post boss Christine Holgate will be forced to stand aside after the federal government ordered an investigation into the purchase of $12,000 worth of luxury watches for senior employees. Prime Minister Scott Morrison said he was so appalled and shocked by the revelations uncovered during a Senate estimates hearing that the government immediately launched an investigation into the scandal. Mr. Morrison told Parliament on Thursday Ms. Holgate had been instructed to stand aside, adding, if she doesn't wish to do that, she can go. He said the investigation would extend to the conduct of the Australia Post Board and their governance, as well as the actions of management and senior executives. That report will come back to me and members of my cabinet if, Mr. Speaker, there are issues to be addressed with board members, then they will be addressed then, Mr. Morrison said during question time. In a joint statement, Finance Minister Matthias Corman and Communications Minister Paul Fletcher said their departments would lead the investigation to be completed within four weeks with the support of an external law firm. The government expects all government entities, including government business enterprises, to act ethically and adhere to high standards regarding the expenditure of money, as the public also rightly expects, the statement said. The independent investigation will determine whether or not these high standards were met. Ms. Holgate admitted to a Senate estimates hearing earlier on Thursday that her office had purchased Cartier watches worth $3,000 each for four senior employees as a reward for brokering an agreement with Australian banks. But she defended the purchases, claiming no taxpayers' money had been used. I have not used taxpayers' money. We are a commercial organization. We do not receive government funding, Ms. Holgate said. It was a recommendation from our chair that these people get rewarded. Ms. Holgate said the watches were given to senior employees Gary Starr, Deanne Keedler, Anna Bennett and Greg Sutherland for their work on the bank at Post Deal with Commonwealth Bank, Westpac Bank, and the National Australia Bank to provide access to banking services at Australia Post offices. There were a small number of senior people who put in an inordinate amount of work and they did receive a reward from the chair, myself, and on behalf of the board, Ms. Holgate told the committee. Asked by Labor Senator Kimberly Kitching what the reward was, Ms. Holgate said they were a Cartier watch of a value of $3,000 each. Mr. Starr, Executive General Manager for Business, Government and International, who was also called to give evidence to the hearing, told the committee he was not presently wearing the watch. Chief Financial Officer Rodney Boy said he did not know which corporate credit card was used to purchase the watches. I cannot tell you because I haven't had that question today. Australia Post has $7.4 billion worth of expenses. We look after those expenses and take great care of those expenses, Mr. Boy said at the hearing. Labor Communications spokeswoman Michelle Rowland said the gifts were unacceptable and said the Australia Post board was incapable of executive oversight and must be cleaned up. Ms. Holgate was also grilled about her decision to take One Nation leader Pauline Hanson on a VIP tour of a Brisbane parcel facility in July, 11 days after a debacle around the delivery of Senator Hanson's stubby holders to a locked-down Melbourne public housing tower. She said there was no connection whatsoever between the two events, saying it was a coincidence. The tour occurred at the same time as the organisation was trying to win One Nation's critical vote to stop a temporary relaxation in daily postal services being overturned by the Senate. Earlier that month Senator Hansen had attempted to send 114 parcels to the public housing tower who she had labelled drug addicts and alcoholics. The parcels were intercepted by Melbourne City Council, prompting Australia Post's General Counsel and Corporate Secretary Nick MacDonald to write to the council threatening to contact the police or other relevant authorities unless the 114 parcels were delivered without further delay. Ms Holgate told the hearing she did not personally contact Senator Hansen or her office about the delivery and that the organisation resolved the issue with the council later that day.